Hi, my name is Raymond Jones. I'm a nuclear medicine technologist for Baycare Outpatient Imaging. There's a lot of preparation that happens before a patient uh, comes in for their PET CT. We will typically call the patient to ensure that they show up on time, that they're prepped correctly. Uh, also, we have to order their medicine, their radiopharmaceutical ahead of time, and then that gets made and driven here. That takes about two to three hours. When a patient comes in, uh, they'll check in at the front desk. Uh, they get registered. The insurance is verified. Uh, then I come get the patient, bring them back, and I'll take a patient history and make sure that it's accurate so that my physician can do an accurate reading. Uh, then after that, we inject the patient with the radiopharmaceutical. Then we have to wait at least an hour before we scan them for the medicine to circulate. The scan itself will take about 20 minutes. The injection that we give is a radiopharmaceutical. Uh, it's a form of glucose and it has no effect on the patient. All it does is allow us to take the pictures uh, and it has to circulate an hour before we start. We give the injections in a vein, typically in the arm, just like getting a blood draw. Instead of taking out, we're putting in Nuclear medicine and PET-CT are different than other modalities because we actually show uh, physiology instead of anatomy. Things like CAT scan, MRI, ultrasound, x-ray, they show things like size and shape of structures, whereas we can show metabolic function of organs and tissues. The PET-CT scan has two portions. The first part is the PET scan, the other part is the CT scan. And what our computer does is it uh, overlays both of them at the same time. So we have both anatomical imaging and physiological imaging, or what we call metabolic imaging.